Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video we will talk about premature ovarian failure, also known as premature ovarian insufficiency or early menopause. This is a condition in which a woman's ovaries stop functioning normally before the age of 40. It is characterized by decline in ovarian function, which leads to a decrease in the production of hormones like estrogen and progesterone, and a decrease in the number of eggs available for ovulation. What are causes of premature ovarian failure? The exact cause of premature ovarian failure is often unknown, but it can be caused by various factors, including genetic abnormalities, autoimmune disorders, certain infections, chemotherapy or radiation therapy. We can divide the causes into primary causes of premature ovarian failure and secondary causes of premature ovarian failure. Primary causes include the Turner syndrome, the fragile X syndrome and galactosemia. Secondary causes include autoimmune disorders such as systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease and the Sjögren syndrome. Other secondary causes are infectious diseases, pathological stress, idiopathic ovarian failure or iatrogenic premature ovarian failure, which is caused by medical interventions. Examples of iatrogenic causes include bilateral oophorectomy, so removal of the ovaries, or it being the result of radiation therapy or chemotherapy after a cancer disease. What are symptoms of premature ovarian failure? Symptoms of premature ovarian failure may include symptoms of menopause, such as irregular or absent periods, hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, mood swings, and difficulty conceiving. Usually patients experience infertility due to the irregular or absent ovulation. However, if the patient has irregular menstruation and ovulation, but they occur sometimes, it is theoretically still possible to conceive. How can we diagnose premature ovarian failure? Important in the diagnosis is the anamnesis, which includes the age of the patient, the occurrence or absence of menstruation, chronic medical conditions, and the symptoms the patient experiences. Additionally, we can usually find a high level of follicle-stimulating hormone in the blood. We can also make an ultrasound of the ovaries to see if there are follicles in different stages of maturation present. How do the hormone levels in premature ovarian failure differ from a normal menstrual cycle. In premature ovarian failure, there is a decline in ovarian function, leading to changes in hormone levels. Estrogen levels are typically lower in women with premature ovarian failure compared to women with normal ovarian function. Estrogen is responsible for regulating the menstrual cycle, promoting bone health, and maintaining vaginal lubrication. Follicle-stimulating hormone levels are usually higher in women with premature ovarian failure. FSH is a hormone that stimulates the growth and development of ovarian follicles, which contain the eggs. In response to the decreased production of estrogen by the ovaries, the pituitary gland releases higher levels of FSH in an attempt to stimulate follicle development. Luteinizing hormone levels may also be higher in women with premature ovarian failure. LH plays a role in ovulation and production of progesterone. In the absence of normal ovarian function, LH levels can become dysregulated. Progesterone levels may be significantly lower in women with premature ovarian failure. Progesterone is primarily produced by the ovaries after ovulation and plays a crucial role in preparing the uterus for pregnancy. How can we treat premature ovarian failure? 
Premature ovarian failure is typically not reversible, but there are treatment options available to manage the symptoms and associated health risks. Hormone replacement therapy can be used to alleviate symptoms and reduce the risk of osteoporosis and heart disease. In a hormone replacement therapy, we usually substitute estrogen, which we can give either orally, transdermally, subcutaneously or intravaginally. Fertility treatments, such as in vitro fertilization with donor eggs, may also be considered for women who desire to become pregnant. What are complications of premature ovarian failure? The decline in estrogen production can increase the risk of developing osteoporosis, a condition characterized by weakened and brittle bones. Estrogen plays a role in protecting cardiovascular health. With a decrease in estrogen levels, women with premature ovarian failure may have an increased risk of developing heart disease and other cardiovascular conditions. Premature ovarian failure leads to a decrease in the number and quality of eggs available for ovulation, which can make it difficult for affected women to conceive naturally. The decrease in estrogen levels can cause vaginal dryness and thinning of the vaginal walls, leading to discomfort during intercourse. How does premature ovarian failure differ from menopause? Premature ovarian failure and menopause are related but distinct conditions. Menopause typically occurs around the age of 45 to 55, whereas premature ovarian failure refers to the cessation of ovarian function and onset of menopause-like symptoms before the age of 40. In menopause, the ovaries naturally cease to function, resulting in a permanent cessation of menstruation and fertility. Premature ovarian failure, on the other hand, involves a premature decline in ovarian function, which may be partial or complete. While some women with premature ovarian failure may experience occasional ovulations and menstruation, others may have no ovarian function at all. In menopause, there is a steady decline in the production of estrogen and progesterone, resulting in low and stable hormone levels. In premature ovarian failure, the hormone levels can be variable and unpredictable. Estrogen levels may be lower than normal, but there can be fluctuations and irregularities in hormone production. Women in menopause are no longer fertile and cannot conceive naturally. In premature ovarian failure, fertility can be impaired, but there may still be occasional chances of ovulation and conception. However, the likelihood of getting pregnant naturally with premature ovarian failure is significantly reduced compared to women with normal ovarian function. While menopause is a permanent state and cannot be reversed, premature ovarian failure can have different outcomes. In some cases, the ovarian function may spontaneously recover, allowing for the resumption of menstrual cycles and potential fertility. However, this is relatively rare, and most cases of premature ovarian failure are irreversible. Both menopause and premature ovarian failure share many symptoms, such as hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, and vaginal dryness. Important to remember are the key distinguishing factors, which are the age of onset, the level of ovarian function, and the potential for fertility. That's it for this video, I hope it was helpful and if you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again in the next video.